Okay, here are two of the sailors who just sailed across the Irish Sea delivering a boat. And they were here when I received this wonderful present from Joe from Australia, this book. So you guys sailing, you must see the most amazing. Did you see any of this coming over, the phosphorescence? We did, we did. Um, a couple, it was a couple of nights ago in the, we were sailing from between Land's End and Ireland and um, there was, it was quite a bright moon so the phosphorescence wasn't as bright as normal but um, you could uh, see it in the breaking waves so as the waves broke which were quite big there was quite a lot of white water but it wasn't just white water in the dark it was uh, sort of had a glowing a green glow to it and um, then the best thing was uh, every so often you would see these green streaks um, coming towards the back of the boat and then going rushing forwards to the front and you would see a, a green streak and then you would hear a sort of noise um, and then another green streak and there'd be a break in the green streak and you're thinking oh because you're tired you don't know what's going on or you know you're quite tired and you're thinking what's, what's that what is that I'm trying to figure it out and all of a sudden you realize it's a dolphin uh, racing through the water disturbing all its phosphorescence you've got this green trail behind it and then as it jumps out of the water it breaks the line and then starts again when it lands in the water oh how gorgeous cool. and you were saying how in seeing this stuff uh, like you can see the fish you can see the fish you can see the beads of light around the fish and when the dolphins come it just looks like torpedoes coming at your vessel so if you get it at the right light and in the right strengths it's absolutely beautiful it's wonderful to watch just to see the the light that's around you which you can't normally see unless it's lit up because you're sitting on a boat you're not in the ocean you're in the ocean on top of this boat and all this light is appearing around you it's beautiful Oh, it sounds Stunning. just heavenly. I mean, I've only seen it occasionally. And because you basically only really see it at night when it's dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't see it during the daylight. Yeah, no. But I mean, you see the shadows of the fish at yeah, times you when see they're... The fish, yeah, the beads of light coming off the fish as it, it goes through the phosphorus sessions. It's was, absolutely fabulous. Yeah. I was doing a delivery years ago. Uh, and it was somewhere in the Gulf of Aden and we were just sailing along, really light winds, really calm waters. And um, middle of the night, pitch black, and all of a sudden the boat lit up, the whole sail lit up, and I thought there must be someone with a spotlight on us. And I looked down and you could just see a school of fish, uh, maybe like 50 square meters that we had just sailed into the middle of. And uh, as they moved, you could see each individual fish just briefly until as they moved it blurred and the glow from the whole ball of fish, whole school of fish, shoulder fish, um, created so much light. It was like someone turning on all the light bulbs. Wow. It was incredible. It was bizarre, really bizarre. Oh, that sounds- It's one of those sounds... things that I've always wanted to try and capture, but I'm not good enough with cameras and I never have a good enough camera. You try and use it for your phone and it's just too dark. But I almost kind of like that because it's something that you see when you're out there and it's, it's middle of the night. You're, you're, you're probably quite tired and you're, you're going through this watch routine. And uh, I always think it's kind of special to just have that and just to remember it because if you take loads of photos of it, it kind of devalues it a little bit. I feel. It's kind of like it's Northern Lights yeah, yeah, yeah. in the sky. You've got, You've got to see it to yeah. really understand it. No amount of description or, or photos, even the photos would never do it justice. It's yes, just, Northern just, Lights, yeah. there is nothing like it. I've had yeah. amazing experiences with Northern Lights and there's no way you can deal with it on film no, or no. photo. It's like the stars when you've got no loom and you're out in the of the ocean and you can see all the stars and the, the, all the different planets and all that sort of stuff and you cannot take a photo unless you've probably got the most fantastic camera equipment which you never carry with you you've got a when you're sailing no, yeah, no because you don't it'll you? get Why wet and salty <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly you know you're into boats not into cameras so uh, well, oh, yeah. this is excellent hearing your stories. And Joe, thank you so much for your book and your socks. They, both these oh, guys the recognized the socks with the, uh, the wave in it as well. The timing was perfect. It was, <laughs> I recognized that from the other day. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you had like four meter waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Could have done with a fresh pair of socks they were soaking wet by the end of it <laughs> i bet but i mean four meter waves in a sailboat is yeah. not necessarily fun except i it's... mean it was fun <laughs> <laughs> it was fun but we're, you know we're, that's why we do it we're a little bit strange probably. you you like uh, the adrenaline kick yeah yeah it was great
And as everybody can see, a certain person is getting very relaxed to uh, and friendly with his um, two of his crewmates. We'll have a smooth across it on the ferry tonight. Definitely, definitely.